Hey guys, this video will be on hepatitis. We're going to look at um, the different types, the transmission, the diagnosis, treatment, vaccines. But we're going to go into my office and we're going to study together. Okay, let's go. So I have a sheet of paper with hepatitis at the top and A, E, B, C, D along the sides. We're going to start with hepatitis A. Hepatitis A is transmitted by the fecal oral route. And yes, there is a vaccination that can protect you from it. Hepatitis E, just the same, is transmitted via the fecal oral route. However, there is no vaccination from it. I guess the thing to remember about hepatitis is if it starts with a vowel, it comes from the bowel. Hepatitis B is transmitted by blood, semen, or saliva. These are all body fluids. So if you think hepatitis B, think the B is for body fluids. And yes, there is certainly a vaccination to protect yourself from getting hepatitis B. Now, moving on to hepatitis C, which is transmitted by the blood or semen. And unfortunately, hepatitis C, there is no vaccination. So once you get it, you have it. We have to be very careful with our patients with hep C as nurses. Lastly, hepatitis D, like B, is transmitted through the blood. And no, there is no vaccination to protect yourself from hepatitis D. Let's take a look at all the answers now. Next, we're going to move on to our signs and symptoms. What makes it so easy is that all of the hepatitises have the same signs. What you'll see is nausea and vomiting, right upper quadrant pain, fever, chills, dark urine, and jaundice. Remember, hepatitis is really tough on the liver, so we're going to see that um, in our patients by the way that they look and also their urine production. Let's finish this video off with our general hepatitis treatment. We start with hygiene. We always tell our patients to frequently wash their hands. Do not share eating utensils with anyone or prepare meals for their family. When it comes to nutrition, the most important thing is that they eat small, frequent meals throughout the day and also try to stay hydrated. Um, they really need to focus on maintaining enough energy to get their work done, and resting is a big part of that. Well, that's all for hepatitis. It's really simple. Good luck studying. See you guys soon.